We see the camp where Lori is. Dale tells her to remain within shouting distance. Lori is an intimate with Shane. Rick is stuck in the tank. A man speaks to him. He says that Rick is surrounded by walkers and he should make a run towards the alley. He has only a pistol and a grenade. He then gets out and hits one of the walkers and falls off. As he runs, he blasts the walkers. He then sees the guy and they keep running. They quickly climb a building as they're almost captured. His name is Glenn and they continue to climb on top of the buildings. They enter a building and as they're about to move, we see walkers. Some of his men come outside and beat them. A woman called Angie Andrea says that Rick ruined everything and thinks that they're going to die. They came for scavenging. The dead heard Rick's gunshots and now they're all there. They are hiding in a shop and the walkers try to break the windows. They then hear gunshots. The man is shooting walkers and attracts them. T-Dog is angry, so Merle uses an ethnic slur and punches him in the face. Rick's also punched and he continues fighting and beating. He then pulls the gun on him and says that he's in charge, but Rick hits him and then cuffs his hand to a pipe. He tells him that it's them against the walkers, but Merle insults him. Rick tells him to think about it, but he just threatens him. Morale says that Rick's not from Atlanta. As the walkers are everywhere, they talk about getting away through sewers. They then check an entrance downstairs. Glenn will go in and out and only will take Morales. They then go down. T-Dog can't reach anyone. Merle tells him to hand him the hacksaw. T-Dog says he'll probably try to shoot the cop. The men find the sewer to be closed and there are walkers behind it. The walkers then get through the first window doors with a rock and continue hitting the next doors. Rick says that the construction trucks have keys in them. The men say that the walkers are attracted to noise and body smell. They then get an idea. They put on some clothes and take the dead walkers. As Rick's about to cut the man, he stops and looks for a wallet. He then sees who the man was in the life before. He then begins cutting. They then cover themselves with the guts. Rick then has T-Dog the key to Merle's cuffs. Rick and Glenn exit the building and slowly walk past the walkers. The guys keep watching them. Andrea's sister Amy is worried about them. The camp then hears T-Dog's call. He hears they're stuck at the department store but can't reach them. Shane is against sending a helping party. He says that they're gone. So Amy's furious. As the men are walking, it starts to rain heavily. The cuts and smells being washed off and they're being noticed now. As a walker attacks Rick, he kills it and they run while fighting them. They manage to climb the fence and he shoots some of them that are trying to climb it. Glenn finds a key and they enter the van. As they drive off, the group thinks they abandoned them, but Rick wants to distract the walkers by making noise with car alarms. Glenn rides the car that keeps making the beeping noise. He tells the group to meet them in front of the store. The group runs off as Merle shouts after them, but T-Dog is the only one that cares. As he turns back to uncuff Merle, he stumbles and accidentally drops the key into a hole. He says he's sorry as he walks off and Merle keeps shouting not to leave him. He locks the door so that walkers can't enter it. Glenn attracts the walkers and they run after him. The walkers enter the shop and Rick then pulls up. The shop is overrun. They open the door and load the truck and escape as the walkers encroach. Merrill is panicking and tells them all to rot in hell. When T-Dog says that he dropped the key, no one reacts. When I see Glenn speeding over the empty highway was the alarm continues beeping.